Hey guys, with Mother's Day around the corner, here are some ideas or inspirations to make that day a little more special for them. Here I'll be showing you how to embroider a handkerchief, make a to-do list book and obviously a wonderful card to give to them. Number 1. An Embroidered Handkerchief my mother is somebody who uses a handkerchief on a regular basis and having something that is specially embroidered for her or customized for her would remind her of me whenever she uses it. To start off, we'll be needing a white handkerchief or anything that's of solid color and to find embroidered threads that you have, something that would be contrasting and you can draw your design on it. Anything that is really basic is just required. And you can start off by just using your thread, thread a needle and just go about on how you like it. Here I'm using floral designs, anything that's flowery and leafy. Basically you can go about with any design using your thread and needle. Just play around with it and just use the minimum embroidery skills that you have. And there you go, a customized handkerchief for your mom's everyday essentials. And you can even add her initial to it for an extra touch. Mums are superhumans and with a million thoughts going around their head, it's always nice to have a to-do list book with them. You will need a paper of the size that you require, some steel rulers and cutters to cut the sheet to the required size and um, some craft sheet or some magazine covers or some leftover craft sheets that you have to cover the book. After folding your sheets to the correct size that you require, bind it up. Um, use a paper before putting your binder so you won't leave the marks of the binder. I use Febby Bond to bind the sheets because I think it's more easier and it dries more easier. So um, that's what I use but you can use any glue that you have. After covering the book with the designed or random, or random magazine paper that you have, you can cut off the edges and I applied some dried flowers or some sort of um, some sort of decorative items that you can add to it just to have a little more prettier thing.
here are some books that I've made with other sizes. Um, you can use the same method for all sizes. With everything going online, I think we have missed out on the joy and the happiness that we receive when we get a handmade card or a handwritten letter. I have used some leftover black sheets, some doily paper and some pressed flowers that I had done earlier.